another vlog and today I'm gonna to be talking about something that's troubling me Arsenal versus Aston Villa and we lost 3-1 the most surprising thing about this game is that it's not surprising at all that's the shocking thing the fact that we lost is not surprising because everybody has been saying this team is not strong enough to win the Premier League I don't know what Arsene Wenger is smoking Bear in mind that I've been an Arsenal fan for about 17 years now. The entire span of Arsene Wenger's career, right? I started supporting Arsenal when I was 15 and Arsene Wenger was already the manager then. I think if you're an Arsenal fan today, there is no way that you are plastic. Because you have really got to have a lot of patience and a lot of love in your heart to continue to support a team that sucks so badly and the reason is not because you know of the players so much it's more towards the manager Arsene Wenger everyone on the planet every single uh, news reporter every single football pundit is saying this team is not strong enough you need to buy more players but Arsene Wenger he constantly pulls this hole well, you know I have been managing this club for 18 years, so I think I deserve a little bit more respect and I think I've been doing this job for so long. I know what the fuck I am talking about. That really arrogant attitude that he knows what the fuck he's doing, but he does not. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, okay? Then even this season here, he missed out on Higuain, he missed out on a whole bunch of other players. He's all like, oh, well, you know, it's difficult to find players that have quality to edge our squad. No, it is not difficult, Arsene. Arsene Winger, it is not difficult to add players to your squad. If Napoli can do it, if Wolfsburg can do it, why the fuck can't you do it? The fact that you haven't done it just shows how retarded you are. This transfer window is about to close. Okay, the season has started. Now, I'm going to go on a limb here and I'm going to say Arsene Wenger is not going to buy the players that we need. He might buy some players, but it's not going to be enough and it's not going to be the players that we need. It really irritates me because he's been all smug about it. He's been like, oh, you know, you press, you have... Uh, you, uh, you know better than I do. Uh, yes, you know which players I'm supposed to buy and all of you are experts and everybody is an expert on the field. Not everybody's an expert, but when everybody starts to say the same thing, obviously it's got to be true. If you're the only one that thinks you're right, I mean, how delusional do you need to be? Arsene Wenger, I don't even think he's smoking pot. Smoking pot does not make you disillusional. He's got to be taking methamphetamine or maybe taking mushrooms or potentially licking toads. You know, that's got to be some hallucinogenic thing that is messing with his brain that makes him think he can challenge for the title this season. You know, we had this whole issue with Luis Suarez, right? Yeah, so Liverpool doesn't want to sell Luis Suarez to a rival club. Of course they don't. No sane football club, no sane football manager would sell their best striker to a rival club. Oh, except of course Arsenal. Yes, of course we would sell our star striker to a rival club. Yeah, let's sell Robin Van Persie from now on known as Robin Van Judas to Manchester United. You know what? I don't blame Robin for that. I don't blame him. I don't blame him for going to Manchester United. Who I blame is Arsene Wenger because Robin Van Persie earned more money and he's going to a club where he can win trophies. As a player, yeah, I guess it's, you, you kind of got to be a little bit of a mercenary to kind of like just, ah, oh, fuck the Arsenal fans and go over. But who I really blame is Arsene Wenger because what's going through your mind? Hey, fine, your star player wants to leave, but selling him to a rival? That's not something a logical person would do. So yeah, Arsene, and I think as an Arsenal fan, I've had it with your shit. I've had it with your bullshit, man. I've had it. I've had enough of this shit. Eight years of this bullshit. Eight years of lame excuse of, I don't worry, we, don't, we have enough players. Uh, when Diaby comes back, it would be like a new signing. Yeah, I've had enough of that bullshit, man. You need to go. Okay, you need to go. 
I know everybody says, it's just one game, man. Why are you freaking out? It's not just about this one game. We, everybody, everyone, from the football pundits to all the fans to all the reporters have been telling Arsene Wenger, you need to sign somebody. You need to sign somebody who's not on a fire sale. Higuain, 30 million pounds, maybe overpriced, but you know what? In the market today, all players that are good are going to be overpriced. If Napoli can spend 30 million pounds on Higuain, we should have spent that money. We should have spent 24 million pounds on Jovetic. We should have, we should spend 25 million pounds on Fellani. After I saw the penalty conceded by Chesney, we definitely need another goalkeeper between the posts. Right now, I don't know how we can even save our season because there's nobody left. Striker, the only good striker that's possibly available is Lewandowski and I don't even know whether he wants to come to Arsenal. I don't even know if he's available. But he's the only one that comes close to somebody that we need. Midfielder Fellani. He has a release clause. I hope you fucking buy him. I don't think Arsene Wenger will though. Uh, Ashley Williams. Yeah, sure, why not? He's a decent centre-back. Keeper. I prefer somebody like Stecklenburg. Somebody with experience. Somebody who's played in the World Cup final. That's who I would prefer. But, you know what? <laughs> I'll be happy with Cesar. I'm a little bit skeptical about him because he was in a team that actually got relegated. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know who's left. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what can save our season. I think we are lucky to get fourth place uh, last season and we'll be lucky to get fourth place this season. Uh, unfortunately, Sporting Football Club, is so, it's like a religion almost. It's like, so, you know, you, you choose a religion. It's difficult for you to leave that religion. And Arsenal Football Club is a team that I support as retarded as the club is. And <laughs> let's face it, okay? Arsenal, if you are an Arsenal Football Club supporter, you are supporting a bunch of losers. For the last eight years, that's the only thing we've done. All we've done is lose. So we're supporting a bunch of losers. You can't say we're plastic fans because how many people out there would support a bunch of losers who have not won anything in the last eight years who are still here supporting you. Uh, fans in the UK are still paying the highest ticket prices. We're still putting up with all this bullshit. This 3-1 loss to Aston Villa. I'm half-hearted about it. I'm happy that we lost because maybe that's a wake-up call to Wenger that we need to buy somebody. But then again, I don't think anything is going to be a wake-up call to Wenger. I think Wenger is immune to wake-up calls. But yeah, as an Arsenal fan, I'm pissed off. And I think enough is enough. Wenger, if you don't buy anyone, uh, you need to go. You need to go because uh, you've lived long past your expiry date. Thanks a lot for making Arsenal Football Club the powerhouse, financially at least, that it is today. But I don't know, I don't know what you're doing, man. I don't know what you're doing. You could have bought those players, but for some reason, what, you don't want to pay one pound over what they're worth? One pound over what you value them? Not realistic. He's not a realistic manager anymore. So yeah, that's it. That's my heartfelt rant as a faithful Arsenal Football Club supporter. Uh, I'll be back again with another vlog. Uh, probably not as passionate. Uh, <laughs> but about other stuff. So, if you like the video, subscribe. I'll be back ranting about some other football stuff here and there, as well as other stuff in general. Uh, like the video, and I'll be back again soon. Ciao.